What I'd like to do is give you a quick tip on how to calibrate two BenQ SW displays. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. To give us some background, when you have multiple SW display linked up to the same system, you can start up Palette Master Element the same way and it will pop up on the screen. At the very top of Palette Master Element, you can choose the display that you want to calibrate. For example, I have this on the SW2700PT right now, but if I want to calibrate the SW270C, which I have next to it, I can simply come in and choose from the monitor menu and it will jump to the next screen. Once we're done with this, we would think that everything will work properly when we try to go in and calibrate the display. However, some other things will also happen as well. Let me jump back to the SW2700 and we'll do the calibration on this one. So for this display, I have it link up to my laptop with a USB Type-C to a DisplayPort cable and a USB Type-C to a USB Type-B 3.1 cable. So again, this will do high speed connection on this display without any problem. And on the SW270C, I just have the USB Type-C to USB Type-C, which makes life super simple. But this is also a really great demonstration as well if you run it in a mix environment or even if you run two displays that have USB Type-C. So let's start the calibration process. We'll speed this video up a little bit and then when the calibration start, what we'll do is we'll observe the behavior and what's happening. So we have started the calibration process. Right now is doing the measuring, is going to do the writing LUT process. In rare instances, this will work perfectly fine. However, some of you may have observed that when it's writing LUT, even though it's showing writing LUT to the display, the other display that you have next to it, the other SW, is changing color. Right now, it seems like this is going to run properly, so this is great. However, if your adjacent display is changing color, there are a few things that you can do to avoid that issue. For instance, if you're running on a setup very similar to mine right now, and the other display is a USB Type-C, or both of them are USB Type-C, what you simply need to do is just calibrate it one display at a time. So this means that you would disconnect the USB Type-C cable entirely, swap the cable to the other one where you want to calibrate the second display. Once you're done with the calibration, you can plug both of them back in, choose the correct profile for each of display, and you're good. If you're running SW display in a mixed USB environment like what I have here, for instance, you have a USB Type-C one and a USB Type-A, if you're trying to calibrate this one, for instance, and that one is showing changes in color, you can simply just pull the USB cord from this display and you'll be good. Again, this is the same setup. For instance, if you run two SW2700PT, what you can simply do is pull the USB cable from the one that you're not calibrating. So far, it seems like this is going to work properly. I'm just gonna have the calibration run through, but essentially what it comes down to with the SW display is the best thing you can do is to calibrate them individually with the system, and afterwards what you can do is then link them all up and choose the right profile. The reason why this is happening, even though you choose the SW display that you want to calibrate on and Palette Master Element also put itself on the correct display, however, during the calibration process, it sometimes writes the LUT to the correct display and sometimes it doesn't, is because in general, when it comes to the LUT writing process, Palette Master Element does not distinguish the different models or the different IDs of the display, the unique IDs for these models. So the best thing to do is to run the calibration on these SW displays individually. I hope that you find this quick tip on how to calibrate multiple SMB display helpful. Leave any questions in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified when I upload cool new contents like this. And until next time, art is right.